Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. Good morning! It is super early in the morning and in this video I am going to be taking you along on the Cradle Ultra Trail Run. I'm doing the 25 kilometer distance. From this point on in the video I am going to be switching to my GoPro for filming just because that's easier to carry. I do just want to say that the GoPro, the low light performance is not great so in the beginning of the trail run when it's really early the footage might be like a little bit worse quality but it should improve as the sun comes up. So Ralph is off on his 50k uh, Cradle Ultra Trail Run. I'm going to go back to the start now. It's really, really dark at the moment, so I hope by the time the 25k starts it's gotten a little bit lighter, because I did not actually bring a headlamp, but I think, I think it'll be lighter by that time. To the first hill. It's still reasonably cool, but at least the sun is up so you can see you don't need a headlamp. My goodness, so far it's just absolutely stunning in this nature reserve. Highly, highly recommend this trail run if you live in Gauteng. This place is amazing. And the track so far has actually been pretty easy. It's like a dirt road, jeep track, not very rocky or difficult terrain, which is nice because you get to run a bit more. <laughs> okay, so for the first time we're off the dirt road, actually walking through the grass. It's quite a nice change and it's uphill so I'm walking anyway. For a while now we've been off the dirt road, off the jeep track, on these little windy paths through the grass and it is a lot slower going because you have to look carefully for the path and also there's a lot of like hidden rocks and stuff. Uh, as I said that we just popped out onto a jeep track again <laughs> but that was really fun. I hope we have a couple more sections like that. Is left. My legs are definitely starting to feel it. It was quite a big 
uphill back there. Still a bit of an uphill. Well, I'm convincing myself it's an uphill because I want to walk. <laughs> but I haven't had like cramps or anything yet, so I mean, could be a lot worse. Still feeling okay. I'm still running all the downhill parts. And at the moment, I'm 39 minutes ahead of the five hour cutoff. So I've got actually quite a lot of time if something does go wrong. But I don't think it will in the next 9k as touch wood. Okay, so with less than 60Ks to go, had my first like trip arms windmilling, nearly falling experience on the downhill behind me. But I'd say that's, that's pretty good. I mean, I've got like 5.8Ks to go, I think. And this is the first time that I actually didn't lift my feet high enough because I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. finish again <laughs> but I finished <laughs> so I'm back home after the cradle ultra 25 kilometer trail run that I did I've had a shower and everything I'm actually feeling surprisingly good this trail run went really really well I think part of the reason that it went so well was my planning the night before. I actually have a whole video about that, so if you haven't watched that video, then you can click somewhere on the screen, I'll put a link to it. Otherwise, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos that I make, or you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past. Mm -hmm.